Hey everybody, Justin Cener here. I've got an awesome video for you today and this is definitely going to solve a problem that you've almost definitely run into, especially if you're running Shopify with a PayPal payment processor. So um, if you haven't found this issue yet, I'm, I'm happy for you, but you're probably eventually going to once you start doing some volume and that's basically issues on PayPal side. Right? Maybe it's limitations, maybe it's a lot of disputes. Uh, probably the most common thing is getting a reserve on your account, basically having like a 15 or 20 or 25% reserve, which basically means uh, cash flow issues, right? You're not gonna be able to um, access all of your cash, all of your sales inside of your PayPal account. And uh, don't get me wrong, PayPal is certainly a, uh, a really great company, a great thing to add into your Shopify store because consumers look for PayPal, they really trust PayPal. So you wanna be uh, you know, really offering payment methods that your consumers already trust. So um, we never recommend removing PayPal from the store, but finding PayPal issues is pretty common, right? And uh, ways to avoid uh, these issues are really basically best practices for PayPal, uh, really avoiding attention from PayPal. That means them not looking into your account, them not digging into exactly what you're doing. And the way that you do that is by making sure that you don't have disputes, right? And if you do get disputes, and those are basically when customers will open up a like they'll make a, a dispute inside of PayPal when they have an issue with their purchase. Maybe they didn't get it yet, or they got the wrong product, or you know, for they, they could open up disputes for a number of reasons. But you want to handle disputes ASAP. Or if you have a lot of different disputes, if you're getting disputes every day, if you're not handling them, if you're not uh, resolving them inside of the PayPal ecosystem, then you know you're definitely going to get attention from PayPal, and they're going to potentially place a reserve on your account, or they might just limit your account entirely. Uh, biggest thing to do, best practice, obviously. This is something that you want to do and that you should be doing pretty much daily, if not weekly, is providing tracking information onto your PayPal transactions. Okay, This is different than providing tracking information to your customer. This is different than importing uh, tracking information into Shopify. This is the actual process of going into your transaction inside of PayPal and adding in the tracking information into that order. So there's an order placed in Shopify, but there's also a transaction in PayPal. That's where you would need to go ahead and add the tracking information. Okay, and really the way that to do that is manually, right? You need to go in, find the transaction, find the tracking information, copy and paste it, and then update it. Right, and by doing this, you're basically showing PayPal that you're shipping your products quickly. There's tracking information so they can use it in any disputes. And it's really just showing PayPal that you're you know, running your business correctly, right? It, it makes them feel like you're not a risk for uh, processing payments. Right? And that's the only reason that PayPal would give you any type of issue because they feel like it's risky to work with you. So by providing the tracking information, you know, consistently and you know always, you're showing PayPal that you're doing it right. And the only way to do it is manually uh, until now. And that's really the whole point of this video. I found a great solution, right? And uh, I really love finding apps like this because this app was literally built to just basically solve a very serious problem that a lot of people are having, like these PayPal issues. Uh, you know, every single week I see at least one post in my Facebook group, uh, Senior Shopify Mastermind, people talking about PayPal issues nonstop. Right, at least once a week, someone's saying, hey, I got, a, I got a reserve on there, or I'm getting a lot of disputes, or I'm losing a ch uh, chargeback on PayPal, et cetera. Right? This is going to be a great solution for you. Okay, and the solution is it's a Shopify app. It's called Ad Tracking Info. You can also check out their website, adtrackinginfo.com. Um, I like how they have a very obvious domain name because they just do one very obvious uh, task, and they do it very well. They basically are an automated solution for adding tracking information to PayPal. Okay. Once you use this app, you're not going to have to manually go in there anymore, and it's a huge time drain. And even if you use a VA to do it, it's still, uh, you know, basically a huge time commitment for them. You're using your VA resource to basically just do very basic data entry that ad tracking info, the Shopify app, can do it automatically for you. Okay, so basically what it is is a dedicated app and a support team with one specific purpose, and that purpose is to simply add tracking information to PayPal. So you're going to drastically cut down on your disputes. Uh, on the disputes that, you, that you'll lose, you'll cut down on chargebacks, you'll cut down on the refunds that you'll have to give, and really most importantly, you're gonna be able to reduce or remove the reserve that you have with PayPal. Okay, and if you don't have a reserve yet, you're gonna basically do a good job of preventing one from happening by always having your tracking information in there. This is the number one best practice. I mean, uh, PayPal even goes out and, and recommends you doing this. They put this in the documentation, update your um, transactions with tracking information as soon as it becomes available. So this is going to allow you to do that in an automated way. And let's go ahead and we'll go over the shoulder. I'll actually go ahead and bring up the uh, the app, and we could talk about and walk through some of the uh, really cool features in there, and really why you're going to want to have it kind of added into your store 
if you're using PayPal on your Shopify store. Okay, so let's take a look at this app and I'm going to walk you through exactly the uh, features that are actually going to make sense for you to actually use this and uh, it's going to save you just a ridiculous amount of time and headaches when it comes to that PayPal side of things. So uh, this is the app. It's made by AppSolve and it's, uh, you know, it's called basically Ad Tracking Info or PayPal's Tracking Info on Autopilot, basically the same name uh, or same thing, different name. And uh, this is the app in here. You see it's going to be pay as you go. I'll talk about that in a second, but it's totally free to install this app and it's also free for your first 50 orders. So totally easy to get started. And uh, I told you, you know, about, you know, the, the kind of reasons why we need to keep uh, tracking information in there to keep our PayPal clean and uh, stay out of any reserves or attention from uh, PayPal. You can read more about exactly, you know, why that's important and the exact timelines. Obviously, ASAP is the timeline that you want to be adding tracking information and you definitely don't want to be delayed just in terms of actually manually going ahead and doing it. So this is the important thing. This is what the app does. Okay, and you need to understand what's actually going on here because PayPal doesn't have a direct API for making integrations. What's happening is, it says right here, basically the team behind this app is a real team, real people, right? And what happens is every time they are, uh, every time an order comes into your store and tracking information is available, they're alerted by it, right? They get a notification on their end, right? So they have a huge team of virtual agents that are basically working on your behalf to add the tracking information to PayPal. So you don't need to do anything in terms of, uh, well, after there's a little bit of a setup, I'll show you that. But once orders come in and the tracking information is available, you're never going to be needing to go into PayPal again. Again, the virtual team will go ahead and do that for you through this app. Okay. And again, you can try for 50 orders for free just to get started. And uh, really, this is all you need to do, right? All you're going to do it again, we're basically having virtual agents, virtual uh, assistants that are employed by this app, they're going to go through and actually go ahead and become a sub account or a sub user on your PayPal account. And again, that's because PayPal doesn't have any uh, API for this right now. So uh, step one, install the app. We're going to do that in a second. Step two, this is what you'll need to do inside of your PayPal account. You're going to create a sub account inside of your PayPal account to actually go ahead and hand that over to these virtual agents. Okay. <clears throat> First of all, I want you to be totally uh, comfortable with this you can create accounts that have limited access to your personal information, right? I know that's going to be your number one concern, right? Um, that was mine, right? I vetted this company before I started using them, so totally comfortable with them. But again, the uh, access account, when you go into your PayPal account, you actually can create multiple sub accounts. You can create different permission levels. So, you know, you don't need to give them, uh, um, you know, uh, crazy amounts of access on here. You see right here, right? They're not going to be able to access your funds. They're not going to be able to make payments. They're not going to be able to make refunds, right? They're just simply going to have access to go ahead and update order information, which is most importantly the tracking information, okay? And then of course they'll just verify the login to make sure that it works. Okay, so let's talk about pricing a little bit, right? You're going to be able to do 50 orders a month for free, so you know you just can install this, especially if you're a smaller store. If you're just getting started, this is great because you're going to really be able to just kind of uh, uh, let it kind of run for free for those 50 orders a month. Here's the pricing kind of afterwards. It's $17 per credit, right? A credit is basically the uh, action of updating an order, right? 17 cents. Uh, it goes down to 13 cents per uh, uh, order when you do volume, right? It depends what you see right over here. It's basically depending on how many orders you have. And um, there's basically a section inside of the app where you're able to kind of submit payment. It's kind of like a credit system, right? You're going to go and top up. If you have enough credit to actually go ahead and have, let's say, 500 orders processed, if you, if you have 500 orders available, then they'll just basically hit your uh, account for 500 credits, right? One credit per order, okay? So uh, some co uh, common question before I jump into the app, right? Uh, how much or how long does it take in terms of time? It's typically going to be 24 hours, right? If you're doing some huge numbers, they say 48 hours could be on the cap end. But for, uh, you know, almost everyone, you're going to be seeing 24 hours updating here. And again, this is totally hands off. Once you create that uh, sub account, you're never going to have to go into PayPal again. Okay, this feature I love, I mean, this just proves that, you know, they really have a great staff that isn't just kind of doing the bare minimum. I really love this. Uh, and you'll see this a lot, you know, potentially uh, with AliExpress too. You can see that it's the shipping uh, um, provider is marked as other, right? Especially when you're coming international, it's going to be using a variety of different shipping uh, providers. Obviously, it will eventually for US end up with USPS. But what they do is they actually look into the number format. And uh, not everyone knows this, but all the tracking numbers, they have specific formats per uh, carrier, right? USPS, FedEx, DHL, etc. They understand those tracking formats and they're going to automatically 
pick out the correct tracking uh, carrier, which is required by PayPal. Right? And I know a lot of people have headaches with that. I see a lot of questions every week. You know, what do I put in there for tracking or for shipping provider inside of PayPal if it's coming from China? And it should be USPS because that is the final destination, right? But uh, they're going to do this for you automatically. And uh, just one thing to note, you do need a Premier business account. You probably already have that um, if you're doing Shopify or if you're doing any e-commerce, but you definitely need to have that. So let's go ahead up here. We'll go ahead and install this app into our store right now. And I'll just walk us through the kind of uh, steps to get us in here. And we'll go ahead and install the app. And uh, I want to show you a couple different things inside of the back end. Just give it a second as this kind of installs in here. Okay, so the app loads, I'm showing this as a first load, you know, as you're going to be seeing it as you create your account. And the first thing you need to do is, of course, create that PayPal account. Okay, that's going to be the first thing. And it's going to show you instructions on how to do it. And uh, I have some information over here that is going to be uh, filled out in, in terms of your actual account, right? And they basically are telling you which username and password to go ahead and actually select. Don't worry, I haven't set this up anywhere, so there's nothing for you to uh, take in this password or anything. But um, these, this would be the information that you'd want to go. So literally, you're just going to go right into PayPal, go to your settings, add the user, set the user up with these user ID, password, and uh, most importantly, this is the uh, permission section. Okay, you're going to allow them to be basically a virtual agent. They're going to be able to do this information. Okay, and that is uh, uh, really all they're going to need to do. So don't worry. There's not going to be any type of, uh, of payment information or personal information ever displayed to them. And you could also create 200 um, user accounts for, uh, for free. Okay. So I'm just going to walk through this. We'll click I confirm over here. And of course, now what we can do is actually try it now. Right? We can go in. You have 50 credits to actually start with. And we're going to be able to take advantage of those. Obviously, free. I haven't even taken my credit card out yet at all for this. Okay. So we'll click on Try It Now. You're going to be brought to the next page with a couple of options. Basically, when should we start, right? When should we start? Just you want to start over here, right? Order shipped from now on. Basically, anything up to the point of this app moving forward will now be fully saved and set up with the automatic tracking information added. Okay, this next page is your dashboard, and this is what you're going to be looking at all the time. And um, obviously, I have this installed in a little test store, but you're going to see your information. You have 24, 7, and 30 days, or 24 hours, I'm sorry. And this is going to actually show you how many orders were fulfilled, right? So this is going to be how many orders were, were uh, in, in, and let's talk about definitions. In Shopify, a fulfilled order is an order that has tracking information, okay? So how many orders were fulfilled in, in this uh, section, the last 24 hours? And then the bottom part is going to be basically how many times has this app done its job, right? How many times or how many orders were submitted to PayPal with tracking information? And what you want to see is these numbers match up, obviously, right? This is going to say, 100 orders fulfilled, 100 orders sent to PayPal. Okay, and I'll just show you what this would look like once you're actually inside of your uh, dashboard and you're actually running, right? You're going to see orders fulfilled, right? And then you're going to see orders tracked with info. Or I'm sorry, orders with tracking info submitted to PayPal, right? You see the numbers match up. 554 orders fulfilled, 554 PayPal transactions updated. And by the way, if you're not, you know, let's say you're doing um, Shopify payments and PayPal, then you'll, you know, of course, you're not going to see this number match up. Right, there's not going to be any type of PayPal updates for a Shopify payment, but if you're using PayPal, of course, all the orders with PayPal will eventually, within 24 to 48 hours, be updated inside of PayPal for uh, uh, with that tracking information. And this is uh, basically your average time that it takes to submit the tracking information to fulfill it, basically telling you how fast are they working. Uh, you'd see a status section over here. It's basically available credits. This is how many orders you'd have in terms of what you've paid for for your credit system, right? You get 50 up front, and then you could buy credits for between 13 and 17 cents each, okay? Now, another pretty cool feature, let's say you want to, uh, let's say you have a ridiculous amount of orders over the past couple of days or weeks, and you just, you know, you've been overwhelmed and you have not been able to update tracking information. You know it's on your list, you just have not done it. Well, you can request a backlog, right? A backlog is basically saying, hey, can you guys go back in time and really cover my, my butt? <laughs> Could you cover my behind? I didn't add any tracking information for all these orders. I just found out about this app through Justin's really great video here right now. And uh, I want you to go back and actually and uh, add the tracking information for all my past orders. You could do that right here. right? You see the options uh, for requesting a backlog cleanup. You got four weeks, or you could set dates, or you could set order IDs. Right? It's a very intuitive system to make sure that you're only doing exactly what you want to do. Right, so if you want to just do last four weeks, uh, that's what they recommend. Then you can just click that first checkbox. It will tell you the estimated fee. Again, it's going to be based on how many orders you have 
how many credits you need, and then you can go ahead and uh, solve your backlog. Basically, it just means uh, buy the credits or top up or basically pay for um, the work that you're about to do in the past. So this is going to now work once you have it set up moving forward, and it's also going to be able to work going back in time. You'll also be able to see all of the individual orders that were sent over to PayPal in terms of the tracking information being sent over. For example, you could see just on the first line, order uh, 693 fulfilled on the 27th, submitted, uh, I mean, PayPal tracking information submitted on August 27th as well. So this is kind of like your little log. And uh, one more thing I want to show you, this is how you actually will top up uh, setting up your monthly billing, right? You'd estimate how many orders you'd hit per day. Then it's going to give you your monthly estimated cost. It's going to give you your monthly suggested cap, basically having a little bit of extra um, wiggle room in there in case you get more orders. And then you'd be able to set up monthly billing or just purchase credits directly through this section. This, this is basically the way to top up, right? So there's really no uh, monthly fee. There's no app fee. You're pretty much just having a fee per um, order tracking information submitted. So this is how you basically top up and continue using the app. So really impressive app, right? One that is, like I said, built directly to solve one serious significant problem that pretty much everyone faces in e-commerce when they have PayPal. And that is the need to automatically add tracking information into the PayPal transaction. So this app does it very well. Check it out. See if this will help out your store. You can get started and do uh, 50 orders totally for free. So check out this app. It's addtrackinginfo.com or PayPal's tracking info on autopilot. Hope this video helps and I'll talk to you real soon.